This is RadioOnFire.com. Yours truly, Don McKay, in here. Thank you for joining me. Now, if you have a news story or a tip that you want to send us, do it via social media at Radio on Fire at the Diamond K Show or email your radio on fire at gmail.com. The FBI director is not recommending charges for Hillary Clinton. He did call her conduct careless. FBI director James Comey said on Tuesday that he is not recommending charges for former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in a press conference. Uh, he said that the State Department staffers were careless, and he said it's possible her email servers were intruded by a hostile actor. Uh, our judgment is no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. Now, federal law makes it a felony to intentionally or with gross negligence mishandle classified information uh, and a misdemeanor to knowingly remove classified information from appropriate systems or storage facilities. And the FBI director said the recommendation was made in light of the lack of intent to mishandle information and uh, similar cases that agencies have seen. So they're saying that they don't think that she handled things best, but they don't think she did it on purpose. Of course, Donald Trump is jumping all over this, and he's going to use this on the campaign trail, no doubt. Now, Clinton's campaign spokesperson said that they are pleased with the decision, but reiterated that it was a mistake for Clinton to use her personal email account. Um, so she relied exclusively on it for government and personal business. Uh, the Associated Press first revealed the existence of this whole uh, server issue back in March of last year. And uh, Hillary Clinton repeatedly said that no email that she sent or received was marked classified, but the Justice Department began investigating it last summer. Um, so this, this email thing is finally over. A lot of people were not sweating it. Some people on the other side, the opposition, the Republican side, we're making it a big deal. Uh, WikiLeaks, you know, published the uh, about 1,200 of the emails uh, on 4th of July. But at the end of the day, nothing is going to come out of this. Hillary Clinton moving through this finally. Uh, Trump said that the system is rigged and General Petraeus got in trouble for far less. Very, very unfair, as usual, bad judgment. That's coming from Donald Trump. Now, Bernie Sanders, interesting, his campaign reacted also, and they said that the FBI's announcement will not affect the senator's decision to stay in the race. Why? You were holding out because you thought that she was going to be indicted for the emails, right? She's not going to be indicted for the emails. The FBI director has said so. Why are you still in the race? There's no chance for you to win. There has been no chance for you to win. Bernie Sanders, I've said this before, he is just digging himself a deeper hole. He could have been the vice president if he played his cards right. And I know some people say he doesn't want to be vice president. Well, then that's just stupid, okay? If you want to further your cause and your message and your platform, then you should have made some type of agreement with the person who's going to be in the position to help you. It's just it's just so stupid and so asinine. Um, just Bernie Sanders. It's just I, I just don't understand. Sanders remaining in the race despite the fact that Clinton has locked up the Democratic nomination. And, and Sanders is saying he's going to vote for Clinton in November. What are you in the race for? It's just, it's just stupid. But at the end of the day, the FBI said that uh, there are strong opinions on both sides of the aisle. He said that his agents were not influenced by either opinions or political influence. None of that matters to us, the FBI director said. And uh, I like how he finished it off by saying opinions are irrelevant. Uh, 
I save that after I give mine. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at The Diamond K Show. And as always, RadioOnFire.com. New episodes of The Diamond K Show drop daily. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode.